This is Don the Diecast Pirate, and today I have for you my entry for the Diecast International Builders Rat Rod Invitational, and we're going to take this old midge toy and turn it into a rat rod. So let's get it up on the turntable and we'll talk about it. Alright, so this month is Opa's build, and he picked rat rods for February, and... He does a lot with the Tootsie Toys and the Midge Toys and whatnot, and I pulled this out the other day and I was like, this is perfect, because I have an idea of something to do with the paint on this one, uh, but we'll talk about that when we get to it. Um, there's really not much to this one. It's not like we have to drill it apart or anything. So I'll show what I do to take it apart on camera. We may do a time lapse. We'll see. But I just wanted to let it run around here real quick. Um, so yeah. Alright, we'll be back. Alright. So this one is different and I've never done this before. These axles are so rusty and let's see if we can show it on the camera. There's a bunch of sand down in there a bunch of the shadows are really kind of hiding it but there's sand in there too so this was definitely played with in a sandbox now i'm kind of thinking
All right, so I don't know if I have any. Well, I do know I have mountain garage somewhere. Cutter is big enough to snip that. I'm afraid this cutting wheel would get into the grill. And I really don't want to do that. I guess that's one way to do it. All right. I was afraid the rest would be too much. It wouldn't want to come out of there, but that got that out. So my idea for this, um, because of rat rod, and I see guys all the time, you know, strip cars or go over paint or whatever, and I'm kind of thinking, like, to my mind, the first rat rods were cars or bodies of cars or whatever, where guys just took them and they put new parts in them. Engines, drive trains, things like that, and the car stayed ratted out. And that's what I want to do with this one. I want to leave this one ratted out the way it is. <clears throat> I'm not, so I'm not going to strip it. I'm going to clean it up. But I'm not going to strip it. And I'm thinking about going over this with a satin clear. And then we'll detail the and the hood. The hood. The engine, the radiator. Maybe do something with the interior. And we'll throw some different tires and axles on here. So I'll have to wait and see what I come up with. But that's the plan for this. Is uh... We're going to take the patina that's here and preserve it and rat this out just the way it is. So that's my plan. Okay, so this is where we're at. It did clean up. I still see some stuff down in the crevices in there, so I might have to clean this up again. Um, and underneath. Yeah. I'm not going to put it through the ultrasonic cleaner because it would take the paint off. Um, I wanted to just, I was hoping I could get in there with the toothbrush that I scrubbed this with and get everything out but it didn't so I mean obviously the sand has been in there for a very long time so it didn't want to just fall out in the water And we'll clean that up again and then I'm going to go ahead and spray it with the satin clear and then maybe we'll take a look at doing some other things to it. Well not maybe, we are going to look, <laughs> look at doing some other things to it. But I want to keep the original paint in the form it's in. So we'll come back when I'm ready for 
the next step, whatever that is. All right, I'm gonna spray this with the Vallejo satin varnish and we'll see how this goes. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to present to you my Rat Rod, the Midge Toy, Hot Rod Car, in Rat Rod form. Let's get this thing up on the turntable and take a look at it. Alright, so this month is Opa's build, and he picked Rat Rods for February, and he does a lot with the Tootsie Toys and the Midge Toys and whatnot, and I pulled this out the other day and I was like this is perfect because I have an idea of something to do with the paint on this one uh, but we'll talk about that when we get to it all right so I washed it sprayed it with the satin clear while well, we took those old rusted axles and wheels off um, painted the engine black whatever with the Tamiya not Tamiya the Tamiya flat black is what I used and the Molotov chrome for the breather, touched some details on the engine, chromed in the grill, what might be considered a rear bumper on this thing. And it was looking too plain. So I got out my Tamiya weathering powders and I just went to town with different colors and shades and, and layered stuff in to try to give it a little bit more of a uh, rusted look there um, got the green light wheels on there and then I also used some flat black for the seat material and like a little bit on the dashboard like they did a little bit of metal work to it like they worked on the dashboard and they worked on the firewall and put some new wheels and brakes on it and you know freshen up the engine and everything got it run just to drive it I did put some type of turn signals on the back brake lights um, did not add any headlights to it I figured you know what they're they're not gonna drive this thing at night they're gonna drive it during the day and you know whatnot and maybe that's down the road they just got it running and they're taking it out and working the bugs out of it and whatnot so you know they don't have all the lights on yet but they're just they're just getting it going so I'll show you the interior here if you can see that uh, I did go black over the turn signal or the steering wheel and then went over it with the Molotov and the the black paint kind of washed out in the middle of the turn signal so you can kind of see through it and then on the bottom uh, so these axles were kind of falling out in some places so I took the, uh, the super glue gel control and I just put a little dab in each spot to kind of seal that in so the, wheel, the axles don't fall out and alright guys so this is it um, you know keep up on your thoughts he's going through some hard times right now and needs everybody pulling for him won't say too much about what it is because yeah but anyway um yeah just i did this one for opa this is his build pick he, he picked rat rods and i wanted to pick a car that you know 
he loves the Tootsie Toy and the Midge Toys, and he does a lot with them. So I figured, hey, this is perfect. And maybe I said that already, but I need to say it again, you know. So, uh, the 14th, uh, we got the Love Boat builds next month. Um, we have next month. March. March is Mercedes. April is Autism Awareness. April. May May is the pickup trucks, and I'd have to look at the list to see what's coming up after that. Um, but yeah, so here it is, uh, guys. If you haven't seen the video on this yet, go watch it. I tell you what, man, this is a great transformation from what this car was, and I think you really like it. So go check that out. Um, shout out to to Jay, Jay Say Cast Creations this week for his one year anniversary. Um, I was able to join in with a live stream on that last night and that was pretty fun <laughs> as I was trying to edit the video for <laughs> uh, my uh, red line restoration. So, I mean, I was like in and out of the chat on the, on the live stream while I was editing because when I was editing, I couldn't hear what he was saying so I kept going back and forth. But anyway... Uh, so check out what he's got going on over there. I'm sure you, all you guys know. If you don't know, go check it out. We've got the uh, the pink slip drags coming up over there. That I sent my car to Intour. And a bunch of other guys did too. So you should definitely go check that out. And uh, check out all the other guys that are involved with that too. So alright guys, check out all the other... Uh, Diecast International Builders Rat Rod builds this month and see what all they did. And if you did build and you didn't put up a YouTube, and if you have a channel, let us know so we can go watch the video. And if you don't have a YouTube, like proper channel where you put up videos and you want to build, just send us pictures of it. So there you go. All right. So that's going to be it for this one, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here and liking and subscribing and putting your comments down below. Tell me what you think of this car and click that like button. I think I already said that twice. I'm getting redundant in my old age. Who isn't? Anyway, ring that bell for notifications. As always, this is Don the Diecast Pirate, and I'll see you next time.